I was in a radio program by Mr. Chawanza in Washington, D.C. recently, and I was asked to share the program with Dr. Lilo Africa. I said, no, I don't think that I would like to do that. And they asked me, why? I said, because there will be contradiction, and then we're going to confuse the listening audience. And I don't think that I want to do that, because after I read the research of Dr. Lilo Africa, I found that there was inconsistencies in his menu. And I didn't want to be the one to show those things. Well, Joanza said, he insisted, he called back next to and said, we want you on the program to do precisely what you said exists. I'm embarrassed because I don't want to be the one that they would consider the judge. So Dr. Lilo Africa came on the program and he alluded to melanin. Oh, I said, well, I'm going to have to be very gentle, very understanding, and also compassionate, because I know that this man knows nothing about melanin. I know that to be a fact. How do I know? Listen carefully. As he goes on in his dissertation and he stopped, I said, Dr. Lalo Africa, you alluded to melanin as being the basis of life and color. He said, yes. I said, sir, whenever someone has been depleted of iron, the disease is anemia. And if they are heavily deficient or more deficient, you will come up with leukemia. When I'm suffering with rickets, There's calcium that has to be addressed. Bones have to be addressed with calcium. If my brain, or when my brain is lacking of energy, well, again, we have to look at copper and carbon. But now that you have alluded to melanin, I want to know. When I find myself deficient, and I will because mineral go to deficiency, absorbed and utilized by, with energy. You have to replace it, like you have to eat the food to replace iron, you have to eat the food to replace calcium. What foods do I eat to replace melanin? Uh, uh, those foods have been classified. I said, oh God. This is what is afforded to us as doctors. This is the black community, the cell that has been made sick, is now submitting to inconsistencies. You know, it's like a woman that has lost her senses. When Dr. Lilo Africa made that statement, I was totally destroyed because I was hoping that he would have made a statement that was consistent with science, at least, or biology, or biochemistry. I was not too pleased because I want to hear something good. I'm not the only one that is supposed to be out there affording what I'm affording. I want there to be many that I could be at ease with myself because the load is heavy now. He said those foods have been classified. I said, by whom? Because if these foods has been classified, we ought to know who classified them. Because we are the one at jeopardy. But no. That was not forthcoming because I knew that the man didn't know what he was talking about. Then I was asked just the following week to go on another program. This time, it is with Mr. Kweku Ando. 
oh my God, I didn't want to go on the program. Again, because I know that there are inconsistencies. Dr. Kwekuan, though, began to accuse me of a whole lot of things. Well, I expected that. Didn't matter. My position is not one that I designed for me, and it is not one that is based in science. It is based on that cosmic arrangement that never fails because it is consistent with life, which I will explain. Dr. Kwekuando said that I go around telling people that they should not eat carrots and beans. That is the truth. Carrots were made in Holland. They aren't a product of nature or life or God. I am a product of nature and God and life. So therefore, my food should be from that same source, not from a machine they call a laboratory. Furthermore, if you have problems with carrots, because I made the statement, there are measures that you could use to know whether the substance is natural or unnatural. If a substance contains starch, rest assured it is unnatural because starch is carbonic acid. It would eat you up. Dr. Kweku Ando, you said to me that cassava is an African product. I said, no, sir. He was angry at me because I made statements in Atlanta, Georgia, where he has his place, his laboratory. I told the people of Atlanta that cassava should not be consumed because it is a product that contains cyanide. Cyanide has the ability to change the images in front of your eyes and also your thinking pattern. But since no one, but no one in the health field in or out of Africa has done any research on foods that is being afforded to us. You see, the gorilla cannot eat the polar bear food nor vice versa. When I asked Dr. Kweku Ando, are you saying that cassava is a natural product? You say yes, and you were wrong. I said thank you. I didn't have to say anymore because I knew that if my brother, Dr. Ando, had done the research that was necessary to afford himself as a practitioner of health, he would not have made that statement. So, myself, it would have been abusive on my part if I had pursued the dialogue because I already knew that my brother didn't know. The other part of the carbon paper 